Want to make Call of Duty thumbnails just like these right here popping up on the screen? I will show you how to do this in less than 10 minutes on your own. And the best part is you don't even need Photoshop or any paid software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to private match. Create a private match right here. All right, so this is where it gets important. So pay attention. Select whatever class setup you want to use. I like to snipe in Call of Duty. So this is the class that I'm going to use for this thumbnail tutorial. So once you have your class set up, go to where it says game setup right over here. Uh, it doesn't matter what game mode you use. I'm just going to leave it on Team Deathmatch. Um, oh, so I want to use the map Terminal. So let's go over to Terminal. Where is Terminal? Right here. Okay, perfect. So this is just like an in-depth part of this tutorial. If you don't want to go into like a map in game, I'll show you guys two ways to create a thumbnail. This is just one way to make it your own pretty much. Next up, go to custom rules right here. And now this is important. I just put the start time to five seconds just so I don't have to wait a hundred years. Over to the advanced tab at the top. I don't think we need anything here. Player, let's see. Do we need anything of player? No team okay kill cam actually wait mini map you want to make sure this is off because for a thumbnail you don't want anything on the screen let's see if we need anything else on here enemy on compass well actually we don't we're not going to be playing with anyone anyways so let's see if we need anything else all right let's go to gameplay because i think this is exactly what we need hardcore mode this is important let me tell you guys this right now this needs to be turned on so make sure this is on right over here all right so once we have these in place um this is the next step and you got to make sure this is this is literally important bro a lot of people forget this and your thumbnails will look absolutely terrible if you don't do this next step in the settings what you want to do is type center dot all right so center dot is right here so we're going to click it um here because i have these turned off the compass by default this is on it's probably on for you uh to be honest the compass doesn't really help me out in game so this has been off for like two months now anyways so make sure that the horizontal compass is off and by the way we are an interface all right all you had to do was type in center dot all right so this is what's important next for crosshairs you see right here this is like the normal crosshair i don't know if you guys can see my mouse hopefully you can because if not this is just yapping Anyways, make sure the static crosshairs is off. And then over here, um, where it says show less, all that stuff, make sure the center dot is turned off, okay? Now for me at the top left, it shows my FPS. If you wanna take that away, you just type FPS over here and then you could just turn it off. You could turn any of these things off, but I'm just gonna leave it on because sometimes I forget. All right, now all that's left to do is to go into the match and I'll show you guys the next process. Also, while this game loads up, um, I do post content regularly on this channel. I normally go into free for all or search lobbies, voice trolling people. If you guys wanna check that out, I have a girl voice. It honestly sounds amazing. All right, so as you can see, there's no center dot in the middle of the screen. Okay, there's no center dot. The only thing that's visible is the top left my FPS counter because I left it on for the purpose of this video. So this is the gun that I want to use for this thumbnail. So we're just going to go to a spot where you want the thumbnail to be. In my case, I'm just going to go here for the purpose of this video. Okay, so now look, there's no mini map. There's no, um, how many bullets, nothing, health bar, anything like that. So basically what you want to do for the thumbnail i like to go like this and inspect okay and i'll show you guys how to get the perfect screenshot in a second all right so here let's let it let's let it do its thing i'm going to shoot maybe i want to use that or this actually boom reloading looks really cool for a thumbnail that's it that's literally all you got to do not for the video though so keep watching all right so what you want to do now is just end the game I'll show you guys the next step. All right, so this next step looks a little confusing. You're probably like, what is this program right here? This is literally called CapCut. It's a free editing software, and it's better to use this than have Photoshop or anything because all you need to do is just drag the video file that you clipped or recorded of your thumbnail process in a private match. You put it into here, and let me show you how easy it is to get a screenshot. So just find what you like. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna try to find something like this, perfect. So basically what you want to do is go here, click export still frame, and just name it whatever you want, okay? Boom. Now it's saved. Now you can literally close out of this program. We don't need this anymore. Next, what you're going to want to do is go to this website called pixlr.com. Once again, this is literally 
pretty much Photoshop for free. You can sign up for it, but it is free, so why not? All right, so you're going to go down here to where it says Pixlr Editor, the E button, and we're going to create a new image right over here. As you can see, I made a thumbnail the other day. And this is what the thumbnail looks like. I made this literally last night. Look how good this looks. All right, so create new, and this is important right here. Every thumbnail YouTube size is 1280 by 720. Look, it's already here perfectly for you. All right, click it and click create right here. Now this looks really crazy, a lot of stuff going on here, but let me show you how easy this is. So find the file that you want and just add it right here. Boom, just like this. As you can see, it's a little bit too big. That's because it's 1920 by uh, 1080. Just type 1280, boom, and it resizes it perfectly to your liking. All right, so this is our base that we're going to work with. Now, let me show you the goods. First things first, go to adjust, click the layer, make, yeah, make sure it's selected, click adjust, auto adjust, boom, it changes it a little bit. Then go to auto pop. Look how much better that looks right there. Let's see, you can go to mimic HDR. I always do. Um, maybe you can't tell the difference. I can. Oh yeah, that looks way better. So let's go ahead and do this. You can copy these settings, dude. HDR at 43, and then contrast at 52. Um, you can play with this to your liking. This is just what I use. Click apply. So this step's important too. We're going to go to a website called remove.bg. Once again, it's a free website. So we are on the remove.bg website, and this is important because this is what we're going to do. We are going to select the photo that's in here, okay? And now look what it does look at this freaking magic it literally makes a png image and it reads your brain of exactly what you want so click download boom now let's go back into our editing software and i'll show you guys exactly what we're gonna do here so you drag our png that we just did from the website and click add current you don't want to create new so add current now it looks really small all you gotta do remember is type 1280 all right, and all I gotta do from here is line it up. It looks a little bit fuzzy, but we'll save that for now. Click on right here for our background, and this is where it's going to get spicy. Click on filters, go to details, okay, right here. Click um, radial blur and literally, all right, so make sure it's on right. The amount put to one. You can maybe put it at two if you want, but it depends how blurry you want it. I'm just gonna keep it at, mm, I'll put it at one. Yeah, I think that looks good. So click apply. All right, go back into here where it says Gaussian blur and adjust this to your liking. I'm going to do it like just like this, just for the purpose of this video. If you click this eyeball, it removes. Oh, wrong one right here. All right, look at this. So if you didn't go to this website to get this PNG image, your whole background is going to be blurry. So make sure this is selected. Okay because look look how much better this looks already but we want to make this pop again so go to adjust auto adjust auto pop like before hdr if you want you don't have to but in my opinion it looks a little bit better just play with these settings to see what you like okay this is just what i'm doing for this video also you can adjust the sharpness but don't go too crazy because look boom ah that looks terrible so just adjust it to where you like it. I'm just going to put it right here. If you want to make this pop, let me show you a sweet trick, bruh. Go to adjustment. Actually, no, we're going to go to filter, outer glow. This is going to get crazy. Now, this looks a little bit wild. Maybe it looks good for you, but we're going to make it better. Put the feather all the way to 100%. Increase the size of this. Now, I know this looks wild, but we're going to bring the opacity down just a little bit. Also, you get to choose whatever color you want. I might just keep it white for this video. You can choose whatever color you want. You just click on the color and then choose whatever. I'm satisfied with this, so I'm going to click apply. This can literally be your thumbnail if you wanted to, but we can spice it up a little bit further by adding a galaxy. All right, so I just found a random galaxy on Google. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do is just adjust this like this. And now you're like, dude, where's my thumbnail? Well, right click over here, all right, where your overlay is, click blend mode and click screen, okay? Now this might look a little bit wild, so you can adjust the opacity however you want it. I'm just gonna leave mine at this, but now it's over the sniper, over the weapon. So let me show you how to do this exactly. Hover over this and just drag it down one, boom. Now it's literally just in the background and not over your sniper before, after, before 
after. I do girl voice trolling content on Call of Duty. So I'm going to add a person right over here. Now you're like, dude, this doesn't line up at all. So what you're going to want to do is like you just did with the sparkles, bring this down and just resize it to wherever you want. Also, if you, here's a trick. So sometimes when you go to move stuff, you're like, oh wait, dude, it's moving. I'm trying to use the other thing, bruh. So all you got to do is just right click wherever, click locked. I'm going to click the sparkle. I'm going to lock it so it doesn't move. And the same thing goes for the background. We're going to lock it. Now let's go back to our subject right here. I'm just going to drag it to wherever I want it. All right, just like that. I think that looks good. And you can go to the adjustments like before. Adjust it with the auto pop, auto adjust if you want. Okay, I think that looks good. Um, Now we're going to add our outer glow. Let's do our outer glow like before. Remember, resize it higher, put the feather all the way to 100, and then the opacity down just like that. Also, you can do the Mimic HDR if you want. I think that's a little bit too much. Boom, 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 apply. Now we're going to go into the sharpen right over here, and you can sharpen your subject if you want. I think that looks freaking amazing. For a thumbnail, that looks great. You can add whatever you want. You can literally get PNGs of anything. You could put like emojis here, you can get text. There's a text option right here, but what I like to do is go to this website called fontmeme.com. It's right here, you guys can see it. Then you literally just type in whatever you want here. Hello there. Then you choose the size, just make it like over 100, it's better. You can choose whatever color you want, yellow, boom. And it's right here, all you gotta do is right click save. Then you can drag it here and do whatever you want. But this is literally the basic tutorial on how to do this. It's literally free, takes less than 10 minutes to do. And if this process is a little bit too much for you, let me just show you a different trick, dude. Go to Google Images, click on any thumbnail that you like, okay? You can literally just save it to your PC, go to this website, get a PNG of the gun, the weapon, the camo, whatever you want. And let's see, COD MW3 Terminal. I like this image right here. So you can put the PNG of the sniper or whatever weapon you want on this image. And you can literally create a thumbnail like this in five minutes, but I think this looks better because we chose the location of our background, the exact sniper we wanted. And if you want you in here or just any other person in your thumbnail, you could do that. So yeah, this has been the thumbnail tutorial. Now it's time to make a thumbnail for this video, which I'll be doing after this because it's not relevant. But if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, like I said, check out my other content because I post girl voice trolling videos. That's why there is a girl in this thumbnail because I use a voice changer. I go into COD lobbies and I troll the heck out of them. Try to catch simps, toxic people. It's literally crazy. You should go check it out. Drop a like for the algorithm. Comment below what you thought about this. Put any comments down below if you're stuck on something. I literally can reply in less than 10 minutes. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.